Hi everybody, I'm Matt. I'm Justin. Welcome to Game On. This is a show all about tabletop gaming from RPGs to board games and everything in between. We, we promise. We haven't done a whole lot of board games lately. No, we have more haven't. of those. You want to cut the video and just play the board game? Sure. Uh, let's see you, everybody. Okay. Uh, no. I want to talk about power creep. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> yes, power creep. Power creep. Yep. Thanks to our solar panels, we're getting a lot more of that. Oh. But I think what you mean in this context is players getting exponentially better. Or, or sorry, player characters. Yeah. Yeah, we'd hope the players would. The players would definitely not get that. <laughs> no. um, yeah, what I'm talking about is how to balance improvements to characters with imbalances to games and how much is enough how much is too much what are the pros what are the cons you know it's hard it is like i am of the school that says if you ratchet up power in of player of characters too fast it just becomes an arms race, right? Yes. And then you characters level up and then the bad guys have to be commensurately leveled up to keep pace with them. Mm -hmm. So you end up throwing 80 bazillion dice for every dice roll that you have, but the odds have not changed from when you were a level one fighter swinging, you know, a sword for 1d6. There's just more dice. That's, a, that's <laughs> exactly right. You've spent more money on dice, but you haven't changed the odds at all. Um, sort of on topic, but not completely on topic. Uh, I'm going to derail us for a second here. Um, back when Oblivion came out from Bethesda um, on the original 360, what would happen is that in the game, it would you know, on purposely scale the enemies ad infinitum mm -hmm. as you scaled. Sure. So a wolf <laughs> would like be just you look like level 99 and you would think you could just one shot this wolf with a super magic weapon. And it's like, why is this wolf taking at <laughs> why is this taking so much damage? Why is it? Why am I dying from this thing? Because you ruin the story if you kill it too easy. <sighs> That's why. But luckily, and that's they, the problem for this thing. Yes, luckily they remedied remedi the Skyrim. But, but what I'm saying is that, or what you're saying is that when things scale up, it becomes a, as you said, why is this thing taking so much freaking damage? Right. I feel like. <laughs> well, because you have to, you have to keep the equilibrium for narrative purposes, mm -hmm. right? Look, what ends up happening otherwise is you have a legendary character and so you have to throw 150 bad guys at him every round yeah in order to keep that power structure somewhat on par that's ridiculous and honestly it's boring because if the if the the opposition individually means nothing uh yeah now what you're doing you're not you're not Role playing, you're not even having sort of satisfying combat. You're essentially duck pin bowling, <laughs> right? And if you're going to do that, then go duck pin bowling and yeah. put the put the dice down. Um, you want to have combat matter. Mm -hmm. You want it to be interesting. You want it to if if the opposition isn't just a generic monster, but has a narrative element to it maybe there's part of the story is involved in this particular uh yeah you know opposition or villain you, they need to be there needs to be stakes mm -hmm. at play um and that's really hard when characters accelerate their abilities too fast yeah the flip side of that though is leveling up is fun Oh, it's yeah. like hugely satisfying oh, in yeah. a level structure game to reach oh, that yeah. level and get the payoff and see like measurable increases in your players or in your characters. And you're like, yes, I finally get access to this, you know, whatever the, the, the 
widget is that, you know, if it's a <laughs> spell or if it's a feat or it's a this or it's mm -hmm. that, like getting access to that feels like you did something. It feels Word. like you've accomplished something. It's super exciting. Yeah. But inherent to that is difficult. Mm -hmm. So what's the alternative? Uh, well, the the first one that comes to mind is the incremental XP what players decide what they're going to spend it on. Right. Um, there's a couple. I mean, the easiest one I can think of right now is Edge of the Empire, because they're getting ready to run one of those. Yep. And I've been reading the rule book, but sure. Call of Cthulhu does it. No, Cyberpunk, I think, I, I does would, it. I would argue that it is the more common and more modern game system for, for tracking experience and mm. progress and so forth right like that is that is where the game the evolution of the rpg has gone in that direction yeah and ultimately it puts the decision making kind of in the in the player's hands more exactly because it's it's really a budget question mm -hmm. you're doling out their weekly pay mm -hmm. and they can save it up and buy something big or they can spend it in onesies and twosies and get a bunch of little stuff. Yeah. And it's entirely up to the player how they want to grow their character. Okay. Right? Um, and the and the the options are nearly infinite to make a completely unique combination of skills and, yeah. and abilities. Um, so it, it really does allow for a degree of personalization. I like that. I do too. I, I, I think ultimately it's better even if you don't get the endorphin rush of getting a level up kind of yay mm -hmm. for me um i think that ultimately it's a better way to go about things mm -hmm. um, this is my very 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 granular con okay i'm hearing is that oh there's usually a lot of choices when on what you can spend your xp on oh, and sure. some people might like the idea of i level up i get this i'm done Whereas some people might not like the, I have this whole talent tree I can pick from, what am I doing? Do you think that is dependent on the experience of the player? I th oh yeah, definitely. Like a, a novice gamer might be overwhelmed by the choices or might feel like they are not sufficiently equipped with the knowledge to make the most of their purchase. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Whereas the experienced gamer can go, oh yeah, I'm gonna spend two here and six here, blah, 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 blah. And they, they have the secret combination to make yep. the perfect character, whereas somebody who's not that experienced feels like they're wasting their, yeah. their XP buying stuff that doesn't matter or doesn't help. Or... Yeah. So yeah, you, that there is a con to the decision-making process. Again, that's not and everybody's going to experience that, but some people might, and right. that's something we want to think about. But you had a really fun idea. Well, you said there was a third way. Yeah, th there have been games, um, RPGs, that have done it this way, but as, as you pointed out, uh, it's probably more common with a computer game, um, where you increase abilities through use. Uh huh. You, you can only improve something that you've actually practiced or <laughs> applied right yeah so the 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 game before oblivion morrowind from uh, the elder scrolls what you would do is you'd run around and jump just jump everywhere you go so it boosts your acrobatic skill because you're doing it all the time ah. you don't just like in, in skyrim you would put a new you would put a point into it but now you're boosting it because you're using it right or their their fallout the special system where you have to use it to be allowed to put a point into it right that's kind of more how it works with, with RPGs, I think. Yeah. Is is that if you've done a thing, then you ostensibly have given yourself the opportunity to get better at a thing. I think in recording today, I've mentioned Bethesda like seven times already with this video and the last video. So if anybody from the company is watching, uh, no, no. Look, it's on. You have it on the brain. That's, yeah. that's fine. Um, I. I don't know that I endorse the use it to improve it method in RPGs because if you really suck at something, you're naturally going to avoid having to use and fail yeah. by use um, until you get good at something or get yeah. better at it at least. Yeah. And so like huh. saying, look, 
your character is really physically weak. You don't have acrobatic, whatever the the, the, yeah. the explanation is, right? But so that character is going to be like, well, I'm not going to keep trying to lift things and fail at it mm -hmm. because I'm not good at that. Yeah. So I'm going to find a different way to solve a problem or accomplish a task or whatever it is. And then if the rules say, oh, well, but because you didn't do the thing you suck at, you're going to continue to suck at it. That's not really very fun for a character. Yeah. And there's no real, there's no way out of that box. Yeah. You know, but anyway, it's it, a good, it exists. It's a good point. It, it exists. It's a, it's a way to do things. It's not yeah. the way I would do things. Okay. It's a fair um, but assessment. Now, so you and I have both expressed our preference to uh, for the incremental XP model, generally. Yes, at least as, as, as a game master. Right. Well, that's, that's what I was going to get at. As a game master versus as a player. Yeah. Like, does your opinion change depending on what role you're, you're it's, in? It's hard to beat the get a whole bunch of really cool stuff at once leveling up system. Yeah, I, I I tend to agree with you. Like, man, it feels good yeah. to get to reach that one, and it's tricky because, like, I the 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 most obvious example, the original, the OG is D and D, right? Mm -hmm. With the level structures, and I've talked in other videos in the past about how I feel like that creates a, you know, a a an arms race yeah. of like you get so exponentially stronger so quickly that it really imbalances the game in terms of npcs in terms of villains monsters traps whatever's like yeah. why should you even care about a level one trap if you're a level five character mm -hmm. right like don't even bother to jump over that pit yeah because it's not gonna hurt you Right? It doesn't help that in 5th edition the rules don't scale right because right. they wrote it wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, look, it, it's fundamentally, it's, it's conceptually flawed and then it was executed poorly as well. Yeah. But, um, but it, particularly with non-mathematical, non-linear systems like D&D, right? The things that you get like feats, for example, or spells in, if you're a, a magic user, those are not all created equal and they're not all created linearly. <laughs> so getting a big chunk of access to something in, in some levels is really awesome. Mm -hmm. And then in other levels, it's just like, meh. Yeah. You know, so sometimes you get the payoff and sometimes it's just like, why bother? Yeah, as I was gonna say, this is already a this is already a long video, but thinking about it, there's like some classes that get something cool every level, and some classes that, yeah, yeah, they have to wait for something. <laughs> right. like, we're not turning this into a D and D bashing video. No, no, but, no, no. It's... But it was it's always a problem that that different classes get yeah. different things at different rates, and the imbalance, the inherent imbalance between classes, D and D has just never been able to solve. But um, but yeah, like even so, even with all of those problems, if I'm playing a mage in D and D and I get access to that next level of spells, yeah. who look out? Yeah, you know, or hey, I got this, I got this scroll eight <laughs> sessions ago, and now I can finally read it. You know, <laughs> like that. It, that's big. That's yeah. big time. So uh, there, there. The payoff for that and the re the excitement for that is hard to beat. It is. I don't really have much more to say. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess we'll call it there then, guys. Uh, how do you feel about uh, power creep versus structural systems in in gaming? Whether you like the XP model, whether you like the level model. Uh, have you ever played one where you you have to use it to improve it? Um, what do you think of that idea? Let us know in the comments below. And uh, if you have questions or feedback, give it to us. Yeah. And I guess until next time, guys. Game, game on. on.